Over the past decades, robots have become familiar sights. Robots are no longer the futuristic servants seen on TV shows and movies. They have become ubiquitous in several industries such as construction, healthcare, retail, and agriculture. Robotics are now in demand, and more and more people are exploring careers in the aforementioned field. In this video, we are going to be talking about the most sought-out careers in robotics. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Let's first discuss robotics talk before we talk about careers in robotics. So, what is robotics? It is considered an interdisciplinary sector of engineering and science that is dedicated to the design, construction, and use of mechanical robots. The robots are meant to either replicate or substitute actions done by humans. Pop culture has always been fascinated by robots, thanks to R2-D2 in Star Wars, Optimus Prime in Transformers, and WALL-E. Although they were over-exaggerated and more like a caricature of the real thing, they helped ignite the masses' love and curiosity for robots. Robots today have come a long way. They are gaining mechanical and intellectual abilities that don't put the possibility of powerful machines out of our reach in the near future. What is a robot? The product of the robotics field is called a robot. They are programmable machines that are built to assist humans or mimic the actions of humans. Originally built to handle monotonous tasks such as building cars on an assembly line, robots have since expanded well beyond their original uses. Nowadays, they can also perform tasks such as cleaning homes, performing intricate surgeries, and even fighting fires. Each robot has a different level of autonomy, and as technology progresses, so too does the scope of robotics. In 2005, 905 of all robots were found in assembly lines of automotive factories. Today, we're seeing an evolved robotics that assists law enforcement, among other things. What careers are defining the robotics industry? Let's start the list with a design engineer. Design engineers are responsible for the robotics' visual look. They often start their design by sketching the blueprints, figures, or schematics of the robot's intended design. They then work with the mechanical engineer or a team of mechanical engineers to ensure that the plans are followed accurately during the development process. Although the work of a design engineer is mostly concerned with the proportions, functions, and physical appearance of the robot, it's worth noting that design engineers also have advanced knowledge in computer science. They understand the different components of their design work and how it will bring the machine to life. Another sought-out career in robotics is that of the software engineer. Software engineers earn an average of $86,000 per year. Software engineers are in charge of developing the software that allows machines to function. They work closely with designers, as well as programmers, to integrate new software with existing systems. They also participate in the construction of the robot, so that robots have full functionality. When it comes to robotics, another additional task for software engineers is keeping abreast with the most current technology, as well as the newest trends. They must apply updates and even reconfigure existing systems whenever required. You can also be a user experience designer. UX designers have an average salary of $105,000 per year, and that's not bad at all. Although often underrepresented, UX designers have an integral part to play in the robotics field. When building a robot, it's not uncommon for engineers to overlook what the user needs and how they would feel when using the product. It is the responsibility of the user experience designer to represent the user's perspective during the development process. They must evaluate the consumer's interaction with the robot, as well as make decisions when it comes to building a system that can meet the needs of users. A hardware engineer can take home as much as $88,000 per year. Another popular career in robotics is being a hardware engineer. The hardware engineer is responsible for the hardware used by the robots to function properly. Hardware engineers are involved in the entire process, from prototyping to the development stage. They are also often responsible for overseeing the execution of the hardware build. After the robot is made, the hardware engineer might also be involved in the testing phase, as well as the analysis of the systems. The hardware engineer will also lead a team that will make any necessary changes to the design. The data scientist is also a valuable addition to the field of robotics. Data scientists earn an average salary of $170,000 per year. Most robots run on data, and it is the work of the data scientist to design data modeling processes, as well as create algorithms and predictive models from which data is sourced and interpreted. Data scientists also have to analyze data sets on which existing robots function. 
They make necessary adjustments to the storage or collection systems and measure their effectiveness so that their functionality can further be improved. Algorithm engineers make an average salary of $121,000 per year. The main role of the algorithm engineer is to research, develop, and finally test the algorithms that run the robots. They work closely with the development team in the pursuit of understanding the robot's desired functionality. They need to identify and integrate much-needed data in order to achieve their goal. Algorithm engineers are people that work in a variety of disciplines. They have to be involved in data science, computer science, and software. Those who would like to become an algorithm engineer need to be well-versed in the aforementioned disciplines. Machine learning engineers also take home a lot of money. A machine learning engineer can earn an average salary of $111,000 per year. They are in charge of the automation aspects of robotics. They largely depend on data and predictive analytics to perform their work. They use advanced software most of the time so they can automate the predictive models. This is a way of advancing the functions of machines and helping it learn from experiences. If you want to be a machine learning engineer, you must be adept in deep learning, data science, programming, natural language processing, and more. How do you set yourself up for success in robotics? If you want to be successful in the field of robotics, you need to have unique skills, as well as years of experience. You must also have advanced training, especially for niche roles. If you are aspiring for a career in robotics, you can set yourself up for success. The first thing you can do is develop the necessary skills. Despite the tailored skills needed for different career paths in robotics, there's a common set of practical and soft skills that professionals in the robotics field share. The practical skills span the scope of electrical engineering, computer science, and mechanical engineering fields. In order to obtain extensive knowledge, you must enroll in an official training program. If you want to be involved in robotics, you have to be comfortable with coding complex systems, programming, and building your own software and hardware. You should also be prepared to not only identify but also hone the specific skill sets required for your unique role. You must be able to communicate well across disciplines because it's a big part of being in a community of professionals. You need hands-on experience. Another way you can prepare for your role is by obtaining the relevant practical experience. This can be difficult to do without actually landing a role in the field of robotics. However, there are programs that offer opportunities for students to acquire skills while still in school. This experimental learning allows students to work in the industry to obtain credit. You have to check your local universities if they have such a thing. Earning a master's degree in robotics is also very helpful. Obtaining a master's degree from a top university will offer you vast opportunities for experiential learning, as well as develop industry-aligned skills. The field is also highly competitive, so it's a good thing to have an edge. A master's degree will also provide you the chance for in-depth training in robotics core competencies. What skills do you need in robotics? Responsibilities in specific roles will vary but there are universal skills that are valuable in robotics. Math and science are fundamental skills for a successful career in robotics. You must also know programming languages such as C, C++, Java, and Python. You must be able to work well with a team because you won't be working alone in robotics. There are several fields and departments that are in charge of a variety of things. You have to be a team player because you can expect to work with up to six engineers, product developers, a project manager, and a user experience expert. You must be able to think creatively and solve complex problems. Creativity can go a long way because it is beneficial in problem solving. There are times when you might also need to come up with a brand new design. When you have a willingness to work with others and are able to accept contributions, it will be a win-win situation for the entire team. The field of robotics is always changing. Because there are always new developments, you have to keep up with the latest developments in order to stay relevant in the field. You have to learn new programming languages, new AI concepts, as well as work with new materials. You can demonstrate your value by engaging in active learning and applying it to the different fields of robotics. You can attend classes or meetings to augment your knowledge and become a valuable asset to the company you are working for. Are you interested in robotics too? Which career would you want to have? Let us know in the comments section below. Stay safe, and we'll see you again next time.